How did I end up here? Wandering the streets by night, looking for a hot, blood-soaked meal, hiding indoors during the day to avoid the crowds of zombie-like consumers, lest they flee at the very sight of me. I mean, fuck it! I used to be their undead celebrity god! Maybe I've lost my rugged good looks and hardcore charisma, now that I'm so obviously a paid-up member of the Flesh Eaters Guild. However, what I cannot take is receiving the gift of fame and fortune, of floozies and copious cachets of coven, of movie, TV and book deals, and then losing everything but a rented bedroom to those cock-blocking bastards at the anti postmortemist League. I could have cracked America, although I was never mainstream enough. I can't run, I can't fly, I can't crawl on the ceiling, I can't base jump, and I certainly don't scream like a banshee. But I did at least get to indulge in one good bloodbath at this cinema in Maryland. That said, I don't care who you are, or how awesome your fun zone is, but I don't swing that way. Zombies can't fucking run. I mean, I've got no idea what that lot must have been. Rabid psychos on speed and pure Colombian nose candy is my best guess. But what have I got now? Lurking around in the shadows, waiting to be hunted down by the government? The onset of the inevitable creeping decay? You know, I'd always thought the term cock rot was a smidge on the colourful side. that was going to happen one of these days. And so the decline of the world's most famous zombie continues apace. I mean, I couldn't even get any action from a necrophiliac now, let alone some pathetic groupie who bone rattles undead megastars. Ah, the cause of and solution to every self-respecting zombie's problems. Human drugs used to be enough. All of the upsides and none of the downsides. After all, there's not much damage you can do to a zombie. So you get hooked on the high, but it never lasts. Before you know it, you're down a back alley, practically on your knees in return for a bag of the hard stuff for zombies so completely strung out that you almost forget you're one of the living dead. So you get a free meal and his entire stash. Pure Bolivian strength bone ash. Hard to come by, but you're always going to find at least one dodgy crematorium willing to exploit a growing market. It's the dust of the dead, giving any smacked out zombie the ultimate high, dangers included. The only way to go out with a bang that doesn't come from the business end of a boomstick. Motherfuck running zombie!
Ah, oh, now what the shit balls did I do last night? Where's the left hand, and why are there two right hands? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I was gonna bung that on eBay! Wait a minute. An ultra-rare copy of the Zombie Man movie script, smeared with the blood of one of his own victims. Ooh, sorry about that, mate. But what are you gonna do? I always get a major case of the flayed skin munchies. Ugh, I can't keep doing this forever. I mean, I've gotta get hip to the trend and go to rehab for a couple of hours or something. Shit, I couldn't have to with a montage right about now. deceased. Therefore, under the all-seeing eye of the government, you are an undeniable violation. Get to the point, you bloody fuck bucket. In violation of what? Despite existing between the planes of existence, you remain alive enough to pay your council tax. <laughs> <laughs> 